Good Sunday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 Meteorologist Patrick Ellis here with your ENC Weather Update for this October the 27th, 2013. Another gorgeous day across eastern North Carolina. Had a few clouds this morning, but they quickly got out of here. A couple cirrus clouds moving in through the afternoon hours, but nothing too serious. A beautiful day across eastern North Carolina. Can't complain about it, but as we head into tomorrow, expect a few more clouds in the skies. Actually, a lot more clouds in the skies and also warmer temperatures as we go into the next couple of days. And then at the end of the forecast period, we're still talking about the chance for showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be on the strong side. So we'll detail that here in the update video. Here's a look at where we started off this morning in the upper 30s, low 40s. Uh, right on par what we were expecting through the overnight hours across eastern North Carolina. Look at Kenansville and Jacksonville. They dipped down into the uh, mid 30s. Look, Kenansville. Of course, Kenansville's uh, airport actually sits in kind of a valley, so the cold air kind of pools down there and actually makes the reading a little anomalous at times. But 36 at Kenansville, 37 at Jacksonville, 41 Greenville as well as Washington, 42 the overnight low temperature for Goldsboro as well as New Bern. Uh, today's high temperatures warmed up nicely into the upper 60s, some mid-60s as you head further to the north. But I think most of the day, actually, we stayed in the mid-60s for a good portion of the day across eastern North Carolina. And a couple of readings were able to uh, sneak up there in the upper 60s uh, through the late afternoon hours with nice sunshine. We're down into the 50s and some 60s still on the board at this hour. We're doing this update at 7 p.m. Uh, 54 rather for Greenville, 58 for Washington, 61 the current temperature for Moorhead City. So we have a little frontal battery approaching us, but not going to be doing very much for us. You see some clouds back over into the western portion of the state, also eastern Tennessee, uh, northeastern portions of uh, Alabama, northwestern portions of Georgia. We'll zoom out and you'll see that there is a little low pressure center coming across uh, the uh, mid-south right now and that system is going to be rolling across our neck of the woods the upper level disturbance associated with that is going to be rolling across our neck of the woods heading into your day on monday that will bring us a chance for uh, some more clouds and also the chance for a stray shower or two but a lot of moisture not a lot of moisture in the atmosphere today and even going into tomorrow with a little bit of a moisture return we're still not going to have a lot of moisture to work with with this upcoming system so as far as tonight is concerned, expect temperatures to drop back into the mid-40s. Clear skies early, then the clouds start to build in through the overnight hours, I think after midnight or so. Could see a couple of areas seeing a little bit of patchy uh, ground fog through the overnight hours, but don't expect a whole lot. We're not expecting a widespread uh, fog type of situation. Here's a look at the other TrueView forecast. We'll start off the morning time hours with a few clouds uh, building through the afternoon hours. Here we go by noontime. A uh, mixture of sun and clouds at that point. Temperatures in the middle and upper 60s. We'll top out near 70 degrees by 3 p.m. Mostly cloudy skies by this point. And the clouds continue to move in. You'll see a couple breaks here and there through the late afternoon hours. But uh, expect mostly cloudy skies. And there will be a chance for a stray sprinkle as well. As we head towards the south, temperatures topping out in the uh, upper 60s, low 70s through the afternoon hours for uh, places like New Bern, Havelock, as well as Moorhead City, mostly cloudy skies. And once again, there will be a chance for a stray shower through the late afternoon hours and into the overnight hours. So what are we expecting over the next several days? I think that we'll just continue with a nice warming trend with thanks to a nice little southwesterly fetch of moisture coming up across the area. So a steady increase in a little bit of moisture and as well as warmer temperatures. But as we head towards Thursday, we're going to be watching for a system of rolling across the central portion of the United States. It's going to bring us a chance for showers and thunderstorms, but not for Halloween. Uh, Halloween looks like it'll be uh, across the uh, Mid-South and also stretching all the way up from uh, Southeast Texas through the Adirondacks of uh, New York. And the potential for severe weather is there for uh, the Mississippi Delta all the way down towards Jackson, Mississippi, Huntsville, Alabama, Jonesboro, Arkansas. But what happens in the west has to come eastward, and this whole system will be moving towards us as we head towards uh, November 1st. Expect increasing rain chances by the afternoon hours of Friday for eastern North Carolina. And some of the indications do bring us a chance for uh, some gusty winds, small hail, and heavy rainfall as well. Uh, with this uh, system rolling towards us. So we'll have to keep a close eye on this because we will be watching for the potential for some strong storms to move into eastern North Carolina. On the other hand, it does look like it will be a mainly dry and benign week across the east. Temperatures eventually warming back up into the middle and upper 70s by the time we head towards the latter half of the week. But, but like I said, Friday into Saturday, we'll be watching that system approaching us from the west. It will bring us a chance for showers and thunderstorms. By Friday, we top out upper middle and upper 70s, 30% chance for showers 
showers and thunderstorms, mainly through the afternoon hours, continuing through the overnight hours into your Saturday, a 40% chance for showers and thunderstorms clearing through the late day. And then we head in towards Saturday night. That's when you have to turn your clocks back one hour. So, uh, unfortunately, we lose an hour of sleep. But for me, I get an, our modeling an hour earlier. So, that's a positive for uh, meteorologists. By Sunday, we drop back into the 60s and mostly sunny skies. That'll do for me here on the ENC Weather Update. Stay up to date with us. Facebook, Twitter, WNCT.com. Next update here will be by Wednesday afternoon, if not earlier, uh, if uh, circumstances do uh, make uh, make note of that, uh, but uh, expect a nice weather pattern over the next couple days, warmer weather pattern than what we've seen, and we will talk to you guys uh, coming up on Wednesday. Uh, stay up to date with us, like I said, WNCT.com, Facebook, and Twitter. Dante Jones in tomorrow morning for Morning Edition, and Chief Meteorologist David Sawyer will be in tomorrow afternoon, 5, 5 30, 6, 10 o'clock on CW, and 11 o'clock right back on WNCT. Have a great rest of your day, a great day tomorrow, and a great weather week.